。好，跟住去到第三条有关于植物嘅题目。咁啊，我哋喺一个 STEM 嘅树咧，喺个劲嘅树啦，我哋见到两类型嘅細胞啦 ，P 同埋 Q。咁題 A 就話啦，睇返幅相呢，就講下 cell P 同 cell Q 呢兩類型嘅細胞有啲咩嘅分別。喎。而呢個分別呢，佢講到明㗎啦，就係、是、用箭嘴指住嗰個結構，究竟有咩分別呢？跟住去到 B 啦，讓我哋描述返呢兩款嘅細胞呢，對於一棵植物嘅支撐呢，會作出啲咩嘅貢獻。咁成條題目呢，考我哋三樣嘢嘅，第一，認唔認得出 P 同 Q 係乜嘢類型嘅細胞？嗱，縱觀成條題目，佢。冇叫你去讲佢个名出嚟，但系起码啦，我哋透过题 A 呢，我哋知道两款細胞係有一个好决定性嘅分别嘅，就係佢哋个 cell wall 啦，一个呢就係薄壁嘅，一个呢就较为厚一啲，其实就係 s i l o m e s s e l 嚟嘅。咁我到第二啦，究竟呢两款細胞有啲咩嘅适应性特征，去令到佢哋可以提供一个支撑嘅力量呢？而呢兩款細胞，當佢要提供支撐嘅時候啦，其實都考緊我哋兩樣嘢啦。究竟佢係透過硬漲程度係要有水吸咗落去，令到個 cell 硬漲，從而有一個支撐啊？定還是佢個 cell 本身已經夠硬淨，係 water independent， 係唔需要水嘅介入呢？咁我睇返第一幅圖啦，究竟 P 同 Q 兩誰你點解會知道一個係薄壁，一個係厚壁呢？其實真係睇幅圖，紅色同黃色嗰個位呢已經知得到噶啦。再參照返書嘅圖畫呢 t h i c k wall cell 其中一個例子就係 s i l o m e s s e l 木質部，但係 thin wall cell 唔一定係韌皮部，不一定是韌皮部。我呢個大家一定要留意嘅。薄壁嘅細胞就係透過硬漲度去提供一個支撐。而一個口壁嘅細胞呢，就係、是、透過光度去提供一個支撐。而下面呢幅圖就話俾大家聽，如果一棵植物係透過硬漲程度去提供支撐嘅話呢喺唔夠水嘅情況底下，佢會係塌陷咗，個細胞呢係軟縮咗 f l a s h e t 咗嘅。咁但係如果佢係一個口壁嘅細胞呢，佢透過光度去支撐嘅話，即使唔夠水，佢仍然可以保持直立嘅。咁返返题目喎，其实题 A 呢最重要嘅 concept 就係考我哋，究竟你知唔知道箭嘴指住嘅结构系乜嘢？咁一定係細胞壁啦。就 part A 呢係非常直白嘅，就係、是、要我哋比较两款細胞嘅細胞壁个厚薄啫嘛。Q 类型嘅細胞佢个細胞壁係比起 P 类型嘅細胞呢为之厚啦。跟住去到题 B 咯，就去描述下呢两款細胞对于棵植物嘅支撑有咩嘅贡献啦。首先你要知道 P 同 Q 系咩啦。咁头先我去讲嘅就系 P 就系薄壁細胞 ，Q 系 s i l o m e s s e l 即使你搞错咗 P 系韧皮部都算，但系你要睇清楚题目，佢系讲紧支撑。好多同學呢唔知點解，如果當咗一個係木質部，一個韌皮部之後呢，就走咗去講，啊佢哋對棵植物嘅運輸有啲咩嘅重要性啦？木質部呢就係運水、運礦物質，韌皮部呢就係運有機嘅食物。其实都系错，因为解错题目啊嘛，系咪？咁所以啦，第一步知道 P 同 Q 系乜嘢，啱到先啦。第二啦，就系、是、对于薄壁嘅細胞同埋一个厚壁嘅細胞，佢哋如何提供支撑呢？咁由于啦 ，P 系薄壁嘅細胞，所以啦，当有足够嘅水分嘅时候呢，佢就能够提供一个 t r a g e d i t y 硬胀程度。Q 呢，由于佢一个厚壁嘅細胞 s i l o m e s s e l 佢有一个 n i c l i n 木质素，咁所以啦，佢系提供一个光度。呢条题目啦，有啲咩嘅变奏呢？咁佢可能就会问你咯。嗱，我哋呢有一款木质嘅木本嘅植物，即係话啦，佢嗰个径呢係木质嘅，係 woody 嘅，咁即係相对上呢係较为多呢个木质部啦，好嘅細胞壁嘅細胞啦，提供支撑啦。又或者啦，另一棵植物呢就係草本嘅，咁即係话啦，佢係较为多一啲薄壁嘅細胞去提供支撑啦。当呢两款植物面对住唔够水嘅情况底下，你个。外表啊，個 appearance 會有啲咩變化呢？究竟佢會凋謝咗啊、耷咗啊，定還是 keep 住都係 stand upright， 都係保持直立呢？咁我哋由返嚟一點出發喎、啊。今次嘅題目呢，就先去問我哋植物嘅支撐，然後再問返 t r a g e d i t y 硬漲程度同埋 rigidity 光度呢兩款嘢，我哋要留意啦。究竟有冇水嘅參與呢？而厚壁嘅細胞究竟點解佢咁厚呢？咁就當中有木質素歷年嘅存在啦。而之後啦，我哋咧要講到 t r a g e d i t y 就有一個水嘅支撐，唔夠水又如何呢？夠咁既然講到水嘅話啦，不得不提嘅就係 transpiration。而提起蒸騰作用啦，咁不得不提嘅當然係蒸騰牽引力同埋一棵植物嘅吸水啦。你要解決翻。蒸腾作用、失水呢个过程，会引致到蒸腾牵引力一个吸水嘅过程。而吸水同失水之间呢，我哋亦都可以比较一棵植物。对于一棵植物，一般嘅情况呢，佢嘅吸水都系多过佢嘅失水嘅。
，從而我哋就會知道啦。嗯，咁究竟吸水多過失水，對於樖植物嘅成長又有啲咩嘅關係呢？咁所以希望啦，一點出發係幫助到大家，由一個少少嘅概念引申開去，你就會知道溫書嘅方向啦。In question three, we can see the electronic micrograph showing two types of the cell: cell type P and Q in the stem of the plant. So for part A, based on the micrograph, state the difference between cells type P and Q in the structure indicated by the arrowhead. So you need to identify the structure first. For part B, we need to describe how these cells P and Q. Contribute to the support of the plant. So in this question, there are three concepts we are checking. First of all, you need to recognize different types of the cells. Even the question doesn't really ask you to name the cell, but you have to recognize them first. In terms of the structure indicated by the arrowhead. And for the second one, recall the adaptive features of the plant cells P and Q for the support. Thirdly, we need to distinguish turgidity from the rigidity. Which one is water dependent and which one is water independent? Part A, we need to identify the structure first. So actually, it is a cell wall. So that's why, according to the diagram of the book, so we can see that P should be the thin wall cell and Q should be the xylem vessels with a thick wall. For the plant support, according to the basic knowledge, support can be provided by the turgidity and rigidity. And for the turgidity, it's mainly provided by the thin wall cell. Once the cell absorbs enough water, so the cell will become turgid and then provide the mechanical support. But what if the plant loses water or it cannot absorb sufficient amount of water, so the cell will become flaccid. So that's why it cannot provide the turgidity. And for the thick wall cell, because of the nickelin, so cell wall is thick enough to provide the rigidity, which is water independent. So go back to the part A question. So firstly, we need to identify the cell wall. Therefore, if we rewrite the question, that means you, you need to state the difference between the cell types P and Q in terms of the cell wall. So you need to compare the thickness of the cell wall of the cell types P and Q. So that's why the answer is very straightforward. Answer will be very straightforward. The cell type. Q it has a thicker cell wall than the cell type P. For the question B, you need to read the question carefully. Describe how these cells contribute to the support of the plant. So firstly, you need to identify P and Q correctly. Even you misunderstand that cell type P is phloem vessel, is which is also thin wall cell. However, you need to be aware that the question is asking. The support rather than the transport. So here is the reminder. Some of you may misunderstand the question is talking about transport, which is the wrong focus of this question. So you need to apply the knowledge of turgidity and rigidity provided by cell P or Q. So for the cell type P, which is the thin wall cell, so it absorbs enough amount of water and provide the turgidity for the mechanical support for the plant. And for the cell type Q, which is the thick wall cell with the nickelin, so that's why it can provide the rigidity for the mechanical support for the plant. So for this question, any possible question variation, you can recall the previous slide. So you will be given different type of plants, wood, woody plants and the herbs plants. So for the woody plants, the stem mainly is made up of the thick wall cell. For example, the xylem vessel with the nickelin very thick, so it can provide the rigidity. The herbs there is less thick wall cell, mainly is the thin wall cell. So, so the question may ask you, what if they cannot absorb enough water? So, what will happen to their appearance? Wait, or they can stand upright. So that's the concept you need to know. So it's time to talk about the curriculum mapping. This question we start from the plant support. So that's why we talk about the turgidity and the rigidity, and also the question may ask you about the nickelin. How can we thicken the cell wall? For the turgidity, we can talk about the water-dependent support and also the transpiration. Talking about the water loss, what will happen to the appearance of the plant if the plants lose a lot of water? And once we talk about transpiration, of course, we need to talk about the transpiration pool, which is a pooling force for the plant to absorb water. And then we can compare the water loss and the water uptake. So normally, the plant they should have a higher water uptake than the water loss, 
and it is related to the plant growth. Why do the plants they need more water? They need water for grow. To the plants absorb a lot of water for photosynthesis, for provide the turgidity to support the plant. Just like before, I hope this curriculum mapping can help you know how to do the revision.